So the common symptoms of chest infection are the ones that most people are aware of, um, which is a cough, often producing phlegm or sputum. Um, the sputum can become more thick and more coloured, and ranging from yellow to green or even dark green uh, during a chest infection. Um, then there is discomfort in the chest, maybe tightness, sometimes wheezing, uh, and this can progress to feeling more breathless. Then there are the rather non-specific symptoms of any infection, which can be feeling generally under the weather, lethargy, fatigue, maybe temperature, sweats, uh, losing appetite. Um, all of these can happen with a chest infection like other chest infections. Common causes of chest infections, well, large majority of chest infections are viral in origin, so many different respiratory viruses, COVID being the one that clearly that we've thought about a lot over recent years, but influenza, but many other viruses can, can trigger a viral chest infection. Um, but then there are many bacterial causes of chest infections as well. Telling the two apart um, is quite difficult uh, and a very inexact science. Um, bacterial infections will respond to antibiotics, but viral infections, which are the majority, will not. So uh, often the advice is if, um, certainly if you don't have any underlying chronic chest problem and you're not particularly unwell and you have a cough, even if you've got cough and phlegm, that you can rest, drink plenty of fluids and recover without antibiotics. If you have an underlying chronic chest problem or your symptoms are progressing, particularly if you have a fever and if your sputum is um, more thick, more volume and coloured, then you may well need antibiotics to cover bacterial infection. So there are one thing to be um, clear about starters, there are different types of chest infection depending on where in your lungs uh, is affected. Um, we often um, lump them all under heading of chest infections, but um, bronchitis affects your bronchial tubes, causing a cough and phlegm. Um, pneumonia is when the infection actually affects the, the lung tissue itself and um, causing little air sacs to fill up with fluid, which is then visible on the chest X-ray or a CT scan. Most chest infections are not pneumonia and are diagnosed simply by um, the pattern of the symptoms. Sometimes with clinical signs, when someone listens to chest and hears crackles in one or more areas of the lung. Uh, pneumonia tends to be more significant symptoms, can make you very seriously unwell in some cases, and that's diagnosed with the pattern of the symptoms, also changes on a chest x-ray, and perhaps changes on blood tests. So for most type of chest infections, particularly when you don't have uh, underlying chronic lung disease, uh, the treatment is what we call supportive, which is um, what I described earlier, which is about um, taking some time off work if you feel too unwell to be at work, resting, drinking plenty of fluids, um, and, and hopefully relatively quick recovery back to normal. Um, some chest infections, particularly pneumonia, but others where there's more chance there being bacterial infection, so the symptoms are more um, prolonged, um, more severe, particularly if there's underlying chronic lung problems such as asthma or COPD, um, then um, antibiotics become an option to treat. Um, for some people, this is rare, but for some people, chest infections can become really quite serious. You can become seriously unwell, uh, very short of breath, maybe short of oxygen, uh, particularly if you have a chronic underlying lung problem. Uh, and the treatment might therefore involve admission to hospital uh, um, being administered oxygen, perhaps having intravenous antibiotics, that can progress through levels of care, even to in intensive care, and being on a ventilator for severe pneumonia. Um, particular viruses, particularly COVID, but also influenza, there are specific drugs uh, that can treat those. For COVID, you know, the research trials that went on through the pandemic came up with a whole lot of new drug treatments for severe COVID infection, um, which again would be considered if you were admitted to hospital. You can never prevent all of them. Uh, we all know that um, coughs and colds come along with winter quite commonly. Um, even if you shut yourself away from, from uh, humankind for a whole year, you, you still could uh, get a chest infection. Um, but the most effective ways are to have the available vaccines if you're 
in a, a group that's um, eligible for vaccination, so influenza and COVID vaccinations every winter for those who are eligible. For those with chronic lung disease, there is a pneumonia vaccine available. It doesn't stop all pneumonia, but it does reduce your risk of one particular type of bacterial pneumonia. And that's really a one-off vaccine that lasts about 10 years. Um, otherwise, um, smoking definitely increases your risk of developing pneumonia or other chest infections. So giving up on smoking, if at all possible. Vaping is probably safer, um, but I expect um, vaping probably does increase your chance of chest infections as well, but to a lesser degree.